let's learn how to save the record that we just patched into a variable so we can use it for other purposes. So for example, here I've got a parent-child relationship. So when I go to save the parent, if we look at our patch, we're gonna see that here I can do my normal patch like I always do, but I'm gonna do that inside of a set and then var record, so a variable. So what this will do was this will create the patch, create the new record because it's default with all these values, and then it will return the complete record, including the fields that SharePoint automatically generated, like ID, and save them all inside of our record. So then when we go down here to save our child record, if we click save child, you can see here that when we go to patch the project ID, we're using var record.id because that's the ID of the record we created with the parent. So anytime you're trying to manually create relationships, you're going to have to track this yourself. So learning to do things like setting a variable with your patch output is always going to give you advantages. If you wanna learn more about this, click on the video below. We talk about different ways to do SharePoint relationships with Power Apps, both using lookups and this method where you manually keep your own key.